What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create property lines using Final Cut Pro and the Final Cut Pro Shape Tracker so you guys can create videos like this. Alright guys, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up Final Cut Pro and drop whatever clip you guys want to add property lines to. In this case, I have a four second drone shot here and the agent did provide me with a map that shows that the property lines are somewhere around here. Um, so the second thing you guys are going to want to do is download the Final Cut Pro Shape Tracker and I'll throw in a link to the description below of where you guys can download that. And once you guys have that in your final cut, go ahead and drop that onto your guys' clip. Once you have that, go down here to launch editor and it's gonna open up a whole new window. It's gonna take a few seconds to open up here. And once it does, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go down here to the layer zero, uh, hit this little arrow and hit shape and this little circle that almost looks like a sun. And go ahead and press this uh, square button and go ahead and just click and drag and create a little square. Then select this little mouse on the toolbar and go ahead and start moving these points uh, to, to the edges of where the property uh, lines are supposed to be at. Um, in this case, I'm not gonna make it perfect. Um, I'm just going to drag them and create a little rectangle here. And once you have that, um, before you start tracking, uh, you want to make sure to go over to layer info and select what color you want the inside of the property line to look at. It automatically has it selected at green, but I like to go with white just to keep it modern. Um, then go ahead and go to track options. And this is one of the most important parts. You don't want it to uh, be translation only. You want it to be selected at perspective because when, in this case, the drone shot moves to the right, you want the property lines to move with your shot. So you wanna make sure it's selected at perspective. Then you'll go up here and just double click and it should start tracking as you can see. It is lagging a bit because I am screen recording um, but we're just going to give it a few seconds to track the entire clip. And while it's doing that, um, these property lines are a great addition to add to some of the services. If you are a real estate photographer, or maybe you just over drone shots. Um, I started creating these property lines a few months ago and, uh, I do it pretty often now. I don't just do it for lots that just have trees. I actually use it for um, properties that do have a house on it, um, just to show the entire property and how massive a property could be or how little a property can be. Um, either or, it adds a lot of value. And once uh, it stops tracking, go ahead and press this export data button here and then confirm. And when you play the clip, you'll see that the property lines uh, are outlined. Um, now, obviously this is a bad look. We wanna make sure to actually see what's going on on the property. So you'll go down to style controls and um, you'll go to fill capacity and you could adjust how much of the property you want to be filled with the color white. Um, I usually don't have any of this. I go all the way down to zero. The only thing I really want to see is the outline. Uh, right now it's at dark gray. Some people go with a uh, red, some people go with a yellow, some people go with a green. I like to just keep it modern and go with white. Now the outline is a little bit thick here. Uh, some people like that. I like to uh, have my width set at two. And uh, now, very modern, very clean, gives it a nice little look. When you play the clip, 
you guys can see that the property lines are moving with the video. Again, I'll play it one more time. And there you guys have it. And that's a quick step to create property lines for your listing videos. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If this video added value to you, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe, or don't, completely up to you. Uh, but if there are any future videos that you guys would like me to create, drop those in the comment sections below, and I'll make sure to get those created for you guys. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.